Welcome back. This is Buddies Dark Souls Plus Part 10. Today we're fighting Gwyn and after that uh, going to New Game Plus. Got some cleanup to do first. Making sure everything is set up. Okay, after losing that one video, I'm very hesitant to rush into starting. I want to make sure that video is recording. So we don't lose part 10, the beginning of the New Game Plus cycles. Okay, so first we have Andre here. Well, let's make sure he doesn't have anything I want to buy. Uh, let's see, Titanite Shards, no. Don't think I need any more. <sighs> Maybe nine. Don't ever need that. The battle axe is fun. But I'm way overpowered for that. Okay. Something. Oh, by the way, we've unlocked the end game zone. We got the uh, drops from the Black Knights. Farmed them a little bit. Farmed to level up my. Pyromancy Flame and several weapons, so I'm done with that. I've already killed the Giant Blacksmith and gotten the Blacksmith Giant Hammer, which is an amazing weapon if you haven't seen it. Here, I'll show it to you. Uh, the reason I've got this equipped, even though it has less stability, it weighs the same as the Eagle Shield, but it can parry, and Gwyn is our next goal. Something you should never do, unless you're going to New Game Plus. Got some nerve coming at me like that. I'll tear you to shreds. So deadly. Bloody hollow curses. You damn. Oh my goodness. Blacksmith hammer. I do not recommend ever doing that unless you're going to New Game Plus immediately after you do it. Let's see here. I've killed Vamos already. Yeah, let's uh, reinforce that weapon if we can. I didn't reinforce everything, and of course, Black Knights just keep on dropping stuff I don't want. But. Blacksmith Hammer. It's not a very good weapon, honestly. But I never use it. So let's go ahead and upgrade that to plus five. I thought it was going to be twinkling like Vamos is, but it's not. Let's see what else we have left to upgrade. I need more chunks. I'm going to save these 11 for my next great club. I want to make it a uh, crystal great club. And I also might do a Zweihander or a great sword or both into the crystal. We plan on playing through new game cycles over and over again. I used Gwendolyn's soul to make the Darkman bow because my buddy reminded me that the faith scaling gives you the magic damage. There's no int scaling, it's not an int weapon, it's a faith based weapon, so. <sighs> but I don't have the Demon Titanite to keep going with that. Let's look at my spells real quick. Okay, I think we had a good setup here. Stat-wise, I need 50 faith to wield Sunlight Sphere. So, even though I plan on getting it pretty much right away, uh, I don't intend to 
And I might not get it right away. In fact, I might wait until I have 50 faith because we're going to be doing Grave Lording in New Game Plus. So, might wait on that. Let's see. Got a couple levels on me at the moment. And we're going to pop all souls and get the other levels. But before we do that, let's finish clean up. I don't have as much to do as my buddy does. So it won't take me as long as it did him. If you watched his video, I've already gone to Sims. I've already gone to the partner. I've already killed the blacksmith. I had Andre. I'm not going to kill the uh, undead merchant over here because I don't need Uchi Katana. The moss merchant doesn't isn't killable. Uh, the blacksmith down here is not killable. And I've already killed Big Hat and the Sorcerer. Now, I made a mistake in my run. I didn't go upgrade my Pyromancy Flame at all early enough. So, Quelana wasn't there to buy spells for Pyromancies. But I'm not really focused on Pyromancy anyway. I'm not too worried about it. But that meant that my Pyromancy Flame is only plus 15. And I can't upgrade it to the Ascended plus 5 version. But that's okay. I can do it in a Gun Plus. That's a great part about playing this way. Uh, so, we've got a couple merchants here to kill. First off, we have Laurentius, I think is his name. The way to get him to stand up so you can soul suck him is to kick him. Don't do this if you still need to upgrade things. Let's see. Was that one humanity he gave me? What's wrong with you? That's another. So he has two. Stop Hope I don't knock him through the wall. There's three. Four. Looks like that's it. One thing about doing this, if you're spamming the soul suck, whatever you want to call that, uh, then sometimes it'll just keep going. You have to like walk around in order to get to stop. It'll just keep activating and activating. Okay, this is a firebase hammer. I've upgraded it. it does 381. Scale C with strength. And it has fire damage, which has no scaling. This is Vamos's hammer. Let's see what we can do with it. You detest my pyromancy. That must be it. Then I'll give you a taste. He's fire base, so that's pretty decent. Right? And he has no items unless they're stuck on the wall. I don't think he had items, though. Yes. He had five humanity, I believe. So this guy, I think he becomes aggressive faster if you use it too many times on him. There's one. Now I figured out which of the great bows I want to use, and that's Scoffs. It's just all the way around better. Well, I think that's it. He only had the two humanity. So... Yep. If I can get myself to stop doing this, <laughs> then we'll just fight and kill him. And he'll give like a thousand souls is all. No. No. Everyone has to this fall into the wall. He has an item for me though. Two more humanity. Excellent. Okay, you can't kill Front or 
cr what's a K guy's name? I can't remember. Cramped? Cath, yeah. Cath is his name. Uh, so you can't kill him. I believe Patches immediately becomes aggressive. He has some oh, stuff, but it's just so stinking expensive. <sighs> I'll buy that twin humanity. Does he have? Yeah, he has three for 30,000. Such a ripoff, but it's something that's so useful. I'll buy them. Don't need these. I have one of each of those. And we can't use armor in New Game Plus. That's the first New Game Plus uh, you can't do. We had no sorceries in New Game Plus Zero. New Game Plus One will be no armor. Hmm. How is it? Don't forget. Now he drops humanity, I think. But he does not have any to steal. But he'll become aggressive right after I try it once, I think. Oop. Did he have one for me? Hey, put an end to that. Okay, he's not aggressive immediately, but he's obviously not going to stand still for it. So let's see, what else did I make? An upgrade. Got the blacksmith hammer now. It's only plus five. Fire reinforced club. This club has bleeding and loses all scaling with the fire enchantment. But it does a decent amount of damage, I think. Curses! What's wrong with you? Well, if that's what it has to be. Curses! How in the... What did I do? Patches has for humanity and the Crescent Axe. Well, I already got the Crescent Axe from him. I forgot about that. So we have a Crescent Axe to sell because I've bought and upgraded this one because it is a strength-based weapon and has faith with it as well. So it's a decent damaging weapon for me. Pretty neat, okay. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if I forgot anybody. I don't think I did. I killed, um, that guy over there, you're right. I don't think he has anything to give us, but let's find out. Good damage. Now it acts like a halberd, so if you miss, then you get staggered. You might have humanity, so that's worth doing. Soldier shield. I finally got one now that I don't definitely don't need it. Let's see if I can do the jump. Okay, does he have anything I can buy? So, Master Key, Crystal Staff, Arrows, don't need. I've already gotten a few. And armor, obviously, I can't use. Well, that is a shame then. But come yep, up, not that's build. a big shame. Okay, tick. And give us a kiss. On there. Uh, he didn't give me any humanity. He gave you humanity. I haven't done it yet. Oh, you didn't have any humanity. Let's see what he has for loot. You have now. I'm a man of peace. Idiot. Enough of you, I say. By the Lord. 
He called me an idiot. Precious collection. Twelve hundred souls. Not worth doing. Not really. I mean, twelve hundred is. It is souls, and I'm gonna go over to the. Uh, So, in the last video, I had missed an item in the DLC. I went to the wiki to look up what I had missed behind an illusory wall. And it's just a red Titanite chunk, which I'm actually a little bit short on. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't have any at the moment. But, um, that's because I've leveled up two weapons. The Reinforced Club I got to 10. You only get one slab unless you turn in a Pyromancy Flame. Per run, and I reinforced the butcher knife to chaos plus four. Okay, so I just need to slap. I don't need another chunk. So I've got some stuff to sell, and then we'll level up, and then we will fight Gwyn. Ooh, never done that before. Fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Just wake up then. Never tried to soul suck him. Now you can do enough damage. I don't know how, but you can. If you do enough damage to him, you know. Is it something well, uh, I suppose you just shoot at him. He'll leave forever. But he doesn't give you anything for fighting him. Let's see, I don't ever need the blue Titanite slab. Or the chunks. Because I'm never going to do an int based thing. But I don't really need the green either, which is what they'll break down to. Okay, feeding items. Do I have any armor? I'll save that for farming. And this for... Uh, this is the only alar allowed armor for playing through the game. The maggot helmet. You can also turn the maggot helmet in for the old witch's ring, I believe. Really, really uh, cool thing to get at least one time. You can go talk to the fair lady, the chaos covenant leader, and actually have a conversation with her. So that's really cool. But she thinks you're Quelag. Which is also kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to give him my arrows. Actually, you know what? I hate feather arrows. They're just a waste of space. Let's get rid of them. Okay. Got a few of those. few of those. 50, it looks like. Moonlight arrows. Dragon Slayer arrows. Ugh. Don't really need them because if I use a Dragon Slayer bow, it'll be Goff's arrows. So those can go. Sniper bolts. I guess if I use a sniper crossbow, maybe in the future. Okay. So weapon wise, I'm going to save the parrying dagger and the other thing that's similar to that. Got that to plus 15. Need more dragon scales. Okay. Claymore. Uh, I don't think I need this. So I have one Black Knight sword remaining. Obsidian Greatsword. Okay. You only get one of these per playthrough, and I may end up using it at some point, so I'm going to hold on to it. The Melbreaker is the other thing I was referring to. One of those two things, you can only get one per playthrough, and it helps you keep count. So I'm just going to keep both of them because I don't know which one is the one of the two. Pairing Dagger or the Melbreaker. Okay, Crescent Axe, I don't need two of those. No, she doesn't give anything. Um, I 
I can buy great axes if I wanted them, I think. Hmm. I'll hold on to it. It is a very, very strong weapon. Never did anything with that mace. Still need to upgrade the dragon tooth. Need to farm some more dragon scales. All these halberds I didn't use. They're all heavy on strength. This one has int base. So let's get rid of it. Okay, bow wise, we've already gotten rid of all of the extra stuff. Uh, I don't need any of those crossbows because I have Avalon, but the problem is Avalon takes 14 decks. So maybe I should hold on to them for now. Effigy shield is neat. We don't need a hollow soldier shield. We've got Sanctus to 15, which would be fun to do. I don't need a Balder shield. Spider shield? Um... In the last video, I was talking to you about Artorius' soul and whether or not it makes something. I'd already made, a, through Sif's soul, the Great Shield of Artorius. You may have even seen it in the video. But I've upgraded that now. It doesn't upgrade stability at all, but it is a strike attack if you use the L2. So I upgraded it so I could use it for uh, upgrade the physical attack on it. It won't do a lot of damage, but... That might affect how much it staggers a person that you hit with it. Oh, by the way, it gives you 100% toxic and uh, bleed, like all the status effects. It gives you 100% resistance if you're blocking those effects with that shield, not just having it equipped. But that's amazing. Like you're facing somebody who has Priscilla's um, Life on Sky. Right. If that's correct, then uh, you can get some really great stuff out of it. Or somebody who has the gold tracer, for instance, or the toxic tracer. Those are really cool. It weighs 10 pounds more than the eagle shield. But it has four more stability. And of course the defense. This is 95, 55, 45, 75. Versus 150, 80, 40. So it's going to be better for some things and worse for others. Major worse uh, weight, carry weight stat. But in New Game Plus, we can't wear armor anymore. So my carry weight will be easier to deal with for sure. What's that? Sell it. Uh, the Sanctus regenerates your life. So, it's just HP recovery over time, I think. That'll be a fun one to use when I use Grant. Old Witch's Ring. Yeah, I kept some other other things that I may use. For instance, the Gargoyle Shield has huge lightning defense. I think if you lightning infuse this, then you can get the closest to the max lightning defense of any shield. Those None of these really matter. I just haven't gotten around to uh, deciding. The Cleansing Great Shield... Not worthwhile, really. It's not worth selling either, though. So I don't know. I mean, what do I need 50 souls for? At any rate, that is the cleanup. I think I've covered everything. Oh, no, I did not. There's one more thing to cover. And that is boss souls. Have some boss souls here. We got Priscilla's soul. You should freed that front. But these two souls, Artorius and Manus, you should pop. That was our 16. If you feed these two to Fremt, then you will lose out. He gives you less than what they're worth. I am. Is it? 
But in the case of Priscilla, it's worth 5,000 more this way, I believe. Farewell. Then we have some soft, uh, hard souls here as well. Let's just pop them all, see how far I can level. D3 And what do we have left? Souls of Brown Mount. Eight of those. Okay. I'm guessing that's gonna be three or four levels. Maybe more, maybe five. Of course, we're going after Faith still. So that's five levels, okay. Look at that, one, 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 for new game plus one. We'll take it. Still need 12 levels in Faith to be able to wield the Sunlight Spear, but that is our goal. Not going to use this weapon. For Gwyn. Let's see here. I haven't really compared damage wise. I've just been sticking with what I know is probably the best. 649. Oops. Okay, 715. But this messes my carry weight up. So it'll be more of a new game plus thing. Now, not all of those are maxed out, but if you see, like for instance, the Dragon Greatsword, I've already surpassed the fact that it doesn't have scaling, so it doesn't matter if I up my strength at all past the requirement for wielding it. It's still a really cool weapon, but I'm already past the damage that I can do with it, just having that 50 strength to wield it by uh, the weapon that I'm actually using. 60 points more damage, it looks like. So there's that. Nobody left to kill. Nothing left to do, except Gwyn. So we're not summoning each other in this. Ah, if you didn't know you could do this, now you do. You don't have to go through his cutscene, and you can skip this one as well, but if you haven't seen that before, that's how that works. You could actually skip talking to him completely before you place the Lord Vessel here, but if you do that, then he treats it as if you had given it to Kath. Yeah, I figured the, the remaster would allow you to warp here. This should have been one of the locations you could warp to, so you didn't have to do that cutscene. But it's not. It's really cool when you play the randomizer. These enemies are actual uh, enemies. It's not just like a, a mo you know, a 3D movie that's just playing across. They're actual enemies that are spawned that you can't fight, I don't think. And when you play the randomizer, it randomly changes them to many different things, and they just fall to their deaths. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. We're not summoning each other, but we can summon Solaire if we did the process properly. Now this shield weighs the same as the Eagle Shield. It has less stability than the Eagle Shield. But the big kicker is, it has more fire defense, and I can parry with it. So if I were just fighting these guys, farming them, I would be using the Eagle Shield for sure. But... Since I uh, am headed to Gwyn, I'm going to wear this. 
I could parry these guys as well, but I don't suggest doing that. It's easier to backstab them. You can, though. I mean, lots of people do. Ah, great sword. Wouldn't believe how many times I've gone after these guys and not gotten them. In fact, I've been trying to get the stupid halberd at the end. And the guy doesn't even spawn sometimes. You get over there and he's not there. If you didn't already know, then all the Black Knights from the rest of the game have a copy here. There are two regular sword guys. One great sword guy. The axe guy is on the stairs over here. And the halberd guy is at the end in front of the fog gate for the final fight. If you walk over here, you tracked that guy there. Right there is a body that normally has Black Knight armor on it, but I've already picked that up and sold it. Practice some parrying. Hmm. I didn't get... Oh, maybe I used an Essus. Another Black Knight sword. I guess I used an Essus after the first Black Knight, didn't I? I'm gonna kill Solar... Uh, kill... Not Solar. Kill the Black Knights here first. Because if you do not, Solar could end up wasting a lot of his life on them. So first we have a axe wielding guy here like to bring him back away from this melted spot right there. That hole in the stairs. Another shield. The white chunks will be useful in New Game Plus. For the occult club. Gonna miss that boys. Another shield and still no halberd. Okay. Do I still have Soul Ring on? Yes, I do. Hello. Let's find someone who is grossly incandescent. put some blood or something. Not bleeding. I don't think bleeding is even in this one. Some fire though. Sure why not. Get the process going a little faster. If I survive some hits. Because my life is really not that high. Missed the first parry a lot. No, don't grab us. There we go. Flipping the... Oh, I stored it. Oh, well. I won't be switching to that in New Game Plus. 
Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Okay, shall we link some flames? Let's see. My hands are on fire. Well, I'm going to go ahead and skip this now because the people who own the rights to the music have decided to copyright claim this stuff. It makes problems for us. Here we are, new game, plus one. First thing we have to do is... So, let's look at our carry weight here. And we're 28.5. Now if I go down to Eagle Shield and remove Havel's Ring, Gonna be still mid rolling if I do that. If I keep Havel's Ring on though, then I can fast roll. So I could be flipping awesome. Here we go. New game plus. So if you like the idea of the challenge, each New Game Plus cycle, we get a new... Oh, I did not kindle this all the way. Hmm. We get a new challenge each New Game Plus cycle that persists through all of them. So we're never going to have armor on again, except if it's a Sunlight Maggot. So if you like that idea and you have some input, you want to give us ideas of what we could add to it, let us know. We'd like some ideas for other New Game Plus cycles. Upcoming we've got... ...several different things. One of them includes no more summoning. One of them includes killing NPCs. One of them includes only allowing one ring slot. Uh, yeah, we've got lots of ideas, but... If you have something that you think would make a good challenge, let us know. Um, we'll try to incorporate all that we can and that make a reasonable sense. We're not going to make this into a shield run, for instance. <laughs> that would be pretty pointless. To go through New Game Plus, I don't know. 50, shields only, just time consuming and boring. Yes, we have to kill all bosses, so every run, every New Game Plus cycle, we'll still have that. Hmm, I need to go get 
the atom up here, maybe? You do get another one? Yeah. That's cool. That right there, my buddy got a second Pyromancy Flame. Which you can normally only get one copy of in any run, unless you're the Pyromancer. So, that right there is a reason to start as a Pyromancer, besides the obvious reason, which is that you start at level 1 as a Pyromancer. But if you're new to this game, or if you're telling somebody who is new to this game, what they should do to start out as uh, for a first playthrough. Do not tell them to play a Pyromancer. It gives you a lot of leeway and it is a great class. Tell them to play a Cleric. It gives them much more leeway. They can heal things, heal themselves even more than the Astus. Only... They get to learn how to use a shield, it is stated which you don't do with the Pyromancer. The Cleric is the best noob class. They can focus totally on strength, life, and carry weight. And just like this character right here, besides the faith increase, that's what I've done. And it's amazing. It is an easy build. Oh, I can level up again. Okay. So, for Faith 39, 11 more. Now, in New Game Plus, the enemies are more difficult to kill. They have more life and whatnot. But also, the souls they drop are, in general, more as well. So, we'll be able to level up even further. We won't stagnate because we overleveled in the first run. Because we really didn't. Hello, I am. If not. Hmm. Hello, I but you know. Oh, I would that. Very well. So I should be able to change my covenant to whatever I want um, that I didn't betray. I should already have that. That's weird. I didn't think that they would forget that you learned things in New Game Plus. But I've already bought all of these, and none of them really benefit me to have a second copy of, except maybe he'll. Even then, it's not worth doing. We just want to talk to him to get him going. Yeah, magic is pretty powerful, but the reason we chose not to do sorceries is because the soul cost of sorceries is enormous. Because you have to buy almost every sorcery spell. So I'm going down to get the Firekeeper soul that's over here, and max out my Firekeeper uh, SS Flask reinforcement. I'm not going to become human before I do that, but I will uh, fight these enemies rather than just running past them. If I can find where the curse is. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Transient curse. Yeah, Firekeeper Souls after this one will be usable. They give you five humanity each one, so... And the more humanity you have on your body, the more 
resistances you have, I believe. I think that's the only thing it affects past 10. At 10, you get scaling on certain weapons, and you also get an item find. More curse. But I'm not just going to run past them, since I can easily kill them, probably, even though they're in a game plus. I don't want to risk this 10 humanity for no reason. Mm, nothing from you either? More curse. Firekeeper soul. Nope. So our first goal is to get Grave Lord Covenant back because while Nito's alive, we can use the Eyes of Death to invade as a Grave Lord servant. It's called Grave Lording and you really only get to take advantage and actually see what's going on in New Game Plus. So, we're going to use that. But while I'm here with a curse on, I think I will go ahead and unlock this shortcut. You know what though? I said I was going to change my weapons around. Let's see what we can do with this. Get a little bit different idea. Now... Let's just check it. Am I? Nope. Not fast rolling with that. How much is this way? Three? Dang. Well, if I'm not going to be fast rolling with it, I might as well go with a different build here. Hmm, souls? I don't need curses, so I don't need to item find. And... Let's go with poise. Since I can't use armor anymore. Oh boy, such a fun weapon. So long. Weapon broken. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see, can I repair it with repair powder? That is the flaw with uh, the really awesome weapons. Did I pass repair powder? No. Weapon at risk? Let's have a look. It's at 100 out of 600. I can't use it to explode again, but... We can still wield it and have it do damage. So that's nice. Well, that was really cool to do. It's basically Wrath of Gods, which I don't have equipped. I've been meaning to see what I should equip there. Now that I've leveled. So it's 188 on the Canvas Talisman. Still the Canvas Talisman. It's really good. There's the parrying dagger. I'm not sure if something drops the parrying dagger. 
or the Mel Breaker, one of the two though, is... Oh, that didn't kill them. Oh no. Okay, good. Nothing. Oh, my curse just ran out. Well, I guess we move forward. Let's get this shortcut done. Oh, no, no. You gotta be kidding me. She shot me because she went through the wall. I totally didn't realize that was a thing she could do. Usually I kill her right away, but enough goofing around with a slower weapon that clearly isn't fast enough to do what I want to do here. Let's do this, actually. Do I not have my repair box anymore? Oh, we keep the bottomless box, but we don't keep the repair box or the upgrade box. It's been so long since I did New Game Plus cycling. <laughs> so I got to go back down there and pop another thing. I'm underweight now. That's another advantage of that. So I'm gonna put this on. Let's, uh... Very cool. So I won't goof around as much on this one, I guess. I didn't realize I was going to get knocked off by lightning bolts. This is often what you'll see me wearing if I'm doing randomizer and I'm lucky enough to get these two things. <laughs> two of my favorite things. The damage this does compared to the weight it weighs is amazing. It is one of the best weapons in the game. Then the shield being lightweight and also having the uh, parry capability but still a reasonable amount of defense. You see the stability and everything there? It doesn't really compare to this, though. That stability makes a huge difference. So... It's not enough damage. In your first new game, though, it probably is. Pretty amazing, considering it weighs almost nothing. Okay, I picked up my body now. Let's get that and this here. There we go. So now I have the ladder shortcut unlocked. 
Water's not drained, but I'm not sure which way I'm going to do that at the moment. That is something me and my buddy are going to have to discuss. We've talked about doing some cheese methods for this run through. Meaning specifically like cheesing capra with poison, uh, toxic poo, or, well, things like that, obviously. But I guess we'll see. So if you're wondering how I am holding my controller to do these runs when I'm actually running like that, I'm using my pointer finger to hold down the circle button. And with my thumb, I move the joystick. I leave my middle finger there to uh, click if I need to attack, but usually I'm doing this in an area where you don't have to do anything. But run. Okay, that is that item. Three hits on everything? Hmm. Let's go ahead and see. Didn't have Divine Club plus 10 back then. I think this is a junk shield, yes. Basically the same amount of damage as that giant blacksmith hammer. Hmm. bleed them, so that's not really worth testing. Let's... I don't have the strength for this yet. Yeah, I'm overweight now. Nice. That's going to be fun to use. Murakumo. I think that giant skeleton dropped that. There's Y Hander. Don't want the binoculars. Cannot sell them. I don't think. Okay, so I've got some cracked red eye orbs over there that I want to grab. At the very least. Let's see what else we can use. 50 strength? Okay, we can actually build this now. How's our weight? Mid roll. I don't have Havels on. Hmm. 
Nope, that won't do it, so might as well change this. And let's go with Soul Ring for now. Okay, need the elevator. Shaft, at least. Does the remaster tell us what level souls we need? No. Should be pretty close to being able to level. Always good. Well, unless you're capped out, I guess. Don't really need those. A thing I can use to trade to the birds. Now, we didn't do the bird trades at the beginning because we didn't want to have you sitting here watching us do that after having us do all the cleanup. And then again, we come to Firelink and we do all this pickup stuff. Not a lot of gameplay and boss fighting, so... We may do the bird trades off camera. I don't know. It's pretty boring. Don't really need anything from them except the Demon Titanite and the uh, there is a trade that I would like to get and that is the Old Witch's Ring for the Sunlight Maggot. But I don't have an extra sunlight maggot at the moment, so... wasn't quite directly hitting him. I'm not sure if that's why he took three hits or not. That's okay, though. I don't want to rest, really. Oh, wow. My buddy was using the uh, switch here, and it rested him at the bonfire, so he's sitting over here. That's just crazy. Yeah, I don't really want to rest. Uh, we're gonna fight Pinwell and then Homeward. After we get the Covenant back. Although I didn't check to see if we already have the Covenant. My buddy's gonna check right now. These guys are hitting really hard. We have dragon, and we have white. Ugh, that's unfortunate. That's all we apparently have for our covenants, so. Okay, so we need the divine club down here, which means carry weight should be really low. Put flipping on. Very cool. So I'm using a Divine Club because a Divine Weapon cannot be... Uh, enemies killed with a Divine Weapon can't be regenerated by... Oh, dang. 
by the pyromancer, necromancer guys. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Now I have to go through everything because I didn't rest. Wasn't expecting to get so much damage right there, but that's what happens with no armor on. So maybe instead of flippering, I should put on still protection, huh? I need to become human. If I'm not human, I cannot summon my buddy or Leroy Jenkins. This time around, I'm not going to fight these guys. Clearing them out while you're trying to get the loot here makes sense, but... When you're doing a run back, you can run back. Most people just run through them, regardless of whether or not they're trying to clear the area. But as I said before, I like to uh, actually clear everything. really want to die, huh? Another one showed up. Okay. So I didn't get everything in New Game. Um, I realized while I was looking through my rings, trying to see if I'd missed anything, I didn't pick up the blue tear stone ring at the beginning. I don't usually fight that Black Knight right away. I don't like fighting him in that little hallway. It's not easy to get a backstab, and like I was saying before, the way to kill them is backstabs. It's better than parrying. You can parry if you're confident in getting your parries and whatnot. You can definitely succeed at parrying them. Sorry for all the spinning. If you're getting dizzy. Trying to get behind them for that backstab is requires a little effort there. Don't really want this serum. So in the future I think I'll make great clubs to replace this club for other new game cycles. My divine weapon will be a great club, but that is not easily done. You only get one great club per run. There's an item in there. I'll take it. Okay. The exploding things? Yes. Yeah, the waterfall creates all sorts of audio glitches and lag. 
Patches is here. Sweet. We can tell them we're not clerics. Even though technically, I am a cleric. <laughs> that was my starting class. Better to kill them now than have them show up behind you in a moment. Hmm. Where'd you come from? I have a feeling that something's glitching and allowing them to respawn even though I'm using a holy weapon. It's not respawned yet. Okay, I was going to switch my shield because the fire defense on the Black Knight shield is 50 points higher. Come over here. The other one fell, it looks like. See what I can do with a great lightning spear. Not enough. But it's a start. Debating on which way I want to go. I actually want to unlock patches. Get this started. Good day. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Yes, I am a lying, thieving cleric. No? Well, that's strange. Oh, I know what it is. You've come for the trinkets, haven't you? You what knew it. <laughs> no? Oh, what the... <laughs> So he moves on when Ray is headed down there, but ah. oh, I slipped and flipped that lever, you see. It didn't cause you any trouble, my like... Are you certain? Hmm. If that's a fine shame, I'm truly sorry. Yes. Really. But why didn't you tell me sooner? All's... everybody makes mistakes. I'm not above it all. I I'm trusty patches. The one and only. Sure, and sure. This should make up for it. We're Maybe. I'm dead outcast. Fantastic. <laughs> it is fantastic. We're on the same side. Fantastic. Is I go down there now, which, this might be blocked, no. Hmm. 
Mm, he fouled at me. Nope, he didn't. That's his body. No item. Okay. Great sky there. And here's the drop I wanted. So we can join that covenant. Did I go too far? No, it's right here. Do I have to kill the Titanite Demon? Have what? Yeah, you have to have Eyes of Death to trigger it, at least. Okay, now we can join this Covenant. Which we didn't do any of in New Game because you can't really get anything out of it in New Game. Now I don't intend to do grave lording in catacomb zone because uh, did I? Yeah, I did. It just won't be a good thing to have to run down to get my body since I'm not resting in the area. But from now on, for a little while at least, I will be grave lording until I have my 50 faith. Behind him are some more eyes of death, I believe. But I will come over here and put my sign down for my buddy. And... Sign is down. Don't really need those there. Now we could put some charcoal pine resin on and switch to a different weapon. Let's see here. I don't have the decks yet. Okay. Yeah. That way's the same. Okay, that's a good combo there. Show off this, which I haven't done yet. This run? So far? <laughs> it's fun playing with all these huge variety of weapons with them upgraded and everything. What is that? This is the Dragon Greatsword Plus 5. It's a tail cut from the Dragon Covenant Leader. That's Grant. It's such an awesome weapon, but I don't have the repair box, so I'm not going to be using that too much for a little while. <laughs> it costs too much for repair powder to be used every time I cast that. Oh, we need to put on Sol Ring. 
Make sure you have soul ring on. Soul ring. Okay. I'm not going to be putting on the uh, helmet to gain souls from the boss fights every time yeah, anymore. Fine, uh, but, that, but if I do farm, where, like say I need to farm for uh, yeah. items, I could be wearing that to get items and also be getting souls in order for the cost of upgrades and whatnot. We could wear this for when we're farming. I'm ready. Not that it would be helpful. <laughs> okay, that's not very good. What about this? Ooh. What about this? That's just blocking. Oh, that's the exploding right there. I missed him. And there we go. That is Pinwell New Game Plus. How many souls does he give this summon? 36,000! Oh, this is going to be fun. Yep, leveling will be a thing for a while at least. So you need to make your way back here. So I've already done damage to this now. I'm not going to keep using it. Let's see. Butcher Knife plus four? Chaos Butcher Knife plus four. 447, 552. Yeah, I don't have the decks for that. Pinwheel doesn't need to be bled, so... What about the hammer? Hammer's 535. Yeah, it's a whole hundred damage more to use that, so I'm probably going to be using it a lot, but I'll also be using the crystal version. There you are. S plus. And we'll also summon Leroy Jenkins here. He can do it all by himself. But he can't go through the fog without us, so... He can't, really. He's not coming with us. They both shot at me, one shot through the other. It almost killed me with the two shots hitting me both at the same time. We did it! Excellent. That is Pinwell and the Rite of Kindling. We can definitely level with those souls. So 
Well, we got a junk mask of the father. Another thing to sell to friend. Okay. So we'll level a couple times. And yep, forty one. And we'll look at our best build for carry weight. Okay. This is actually pretty good. Right here. That's too heavy. I want to be fast. Fire reinforced with bleeding. That could be fun. That could be very fun. Now we're going to set up for some grave lording. So this last thing we're going to do is go to the zone over here in grave lord and. I'm not sure what I'm going to use, honestly. Let's see, if I put on Breach of the Vartorius. I can go to 17 pounds, so yeah, these are too heavy. So I even, I can't use those even at the moment. But I could be using this. Hmm, that could be fun. So we'll have to do a lot of farming of Gravelord to continue Gravelording. I think once we have 30 or 40, we can turn them in and upgrade our uh, Gravelord, Gravelord Sword Dance Miracle. Poise and still protection. So that's basically the armor that I had on before. And this has no scaling, this weapon, because I made it fire. So that is not the best choice for sure. Stamina regeneration. Mm. I could actually do that. Or I could do that, obviously. But I can't parry with this on. That's still usable, though. This gets bonus scaling from my humanity up to 10. But it really isn't enough. Can't wield it yet. Not that it would be the best anyway. My strength is better utilized on a weapon that actually has scaling for strength than faith. So honestly, it's probably the great axe. What was the blacksmith hammer? Did I miss something here? It's more damage, wow. Looking at no lightning scaling, it doesn't have faith scaling. But it's just so much damage to start with, naturally. And it weighs exactly the same. 506 versus 535. Okay. Well that answers that question. Let's go up here and Try a couple Grave Lords. Now, when you are the invader Grave Lorder, you're sending minions into other people's worlds if they're in New Game Plus or higher. If they're this level and they're in New Game, 
That would be pretty scary, actually, because that probably means they're cheating. To be in this zone and this level. So... Over there we have a ring, uh, which I bought a bunch from the partner. I have like 10 of the uh, soul-saving ring of sacrifices. I think I only have one of those still. Jump attacks, good in this small corridor. Do it. So we'll probably be invading each other a lot because we're similar soul levels and we're in the same area, but that doesn't matter, really. That's part of the fun of it, right? So if my buddy had invaded my zone, which it chooses like 10 or 15 people and it invades them with, oh, there he is. Now he's moved. It did invade me, but it didn't tell me that it had invaded me. That's weird. So it'll put black phantoms, they're actually red. But it'll put them all over the place. There's a sign again. Well, it just does. It infects 10 other people. As long as they're in your level range, right? That's where it gets the people's... It invades from, is your level range. Okay, no new phantoms for me. Hmm. Right? Nothing for me. This is a weird zone for it because technically you can actually reach down there below us. Oh, yeah, so you might actually be invading people that are below us. And they can't find your sign unless they come up here. It's a pretty finicky mechanic. But I can evade my buddy here. It doesn't cost me anything. If I die... If I invade him and die to him, I'm not sure that I lose anything at all. But if, uh, he, if I kill him, then I get a Gravelord Eye of Death. And if he kills me, he gets an eye of death. Hello. Hello? Oh, really? Really? I want to try something. Try. Hit me with that. Okay. Does not work against Priscilla's thing. It's supposed to give you 100% immunity to bleed. It does not do that. It, maybe it only does toxic and poison. Uh, I don't have the spider shield on me at the moment. Anyway, I'll go back to what I had on. Nope, it didn't, thank goodness. Oh, 
I can heal in your world? You can heal? Yeah, oh. see? <laughs> <laughs> no crits on this one for that. You got me. Okay, what do you get? Good job. Eye of Death. Excellent. What happens to me? Do I have to go back to the bonfire? Yes. Now, I'm back at the bonfire, but I have my body, I've got my humanity, I've got my souls. But it will have respawned my enemies for me. Yeah, definitely. So there is a little bit of a disadvantage. If you die as uh, invading, but not much. Uh, now the black phantoms are more difficult to kill, I believe. They have more life and possibly more souls. People who are farming really, really like to be Grave loaded for it. Because it adds a few more enemies to get stuff from. Really cool idea. I wish they'd used it more frequently. Kept on doing it in all of the updated versions. So I'm going to move forward to the next zone and Grave Lord there. Now that I have the first zone clear. So to end grave loading, I believe, besides logging out, of course, uh, I think just resting at the bonfire might do it, maybe. But also dying obviously does it. I have been grave loaded. So my buddy just died to. Yep, there's my buddy's sign over there. He died to the spear guys over there. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, disasters are gone, and there goes the guy. He just dies. There's another one that would have been right there. It's so cool. So there are no enemies in the first spot. The first part of this. You have to go through that fog gate first. To see Gravelord enemies. I'm not going to pick up that shield. Go ahead and get this bonfire before I get invaded. How much do I need to level? 30,000? It's quite a bit. I don't think I have any soul items yet to do that with. A little bit too far. Okay. So, I have death, there we go. Spread misery to lower phantoms. While that's on, I should be spreading misery. Looks like I invaded my buddy's world with uh, misery or infection or whatever you want to call it. Grave loading. Oh, you can do it while they're hollow? Wow. 
I did not know that. So you can even come here while hollow. That's amazing. Need to buy this repair box. And you have to be human to use Gravelord, right? No, I mean to use your Gravelord. Well, now you seem to think you are trained. Okay, repair box. I don't have one. That's unfortunate. You need to rebuy the key. Don't really need Lloyd's talismans that much, but in PvP could be useful, I suppose. And nothing so there. Ooh, a club. No, I'm not gonna need more clubs. I'm gonna get the occult club up and then in further new games, I'll probably upgrade the Great Club. Okay. Thank you. Like having an even number. Well, that worked. This is one of the spots that you can use to get down below. If you jump off this roof onto one of those, then you can jump down from there to a safe position over here somewhere, and then be in Lower End Edberg. I think you just, technically you just have to jump over that and land in the bottom. You're going to take some fall damage and you're putting yourself in a very precarious position as opposed to this jump here, which has you going, uh, I can't really show you very well, but it has you going onto that rooftop. If you see the angled roof right there that I'm about to cover up, that right there, you land down there and then you drop down. That's a lot less dangerous position to drop to. Not gonna go get the crossbow over there. The most unfortunate part about it is that lots of people really like to see the Gravelord enemies and they don't want to get rid of them. Because it's so cool, it's something you don't normally encounter. So if somebody's doing it, you're actually getting a benefit, not a, a punishment or a problem, you know? I really wish in New Game that they allowed the spawn of these enemies. Yeah, if they would only do it for the people who were in Gravelord, then lots of people would have gone and done it. They should have made more Covenant rewards for this too. Because Gravelord Sword Dance really isn't great. The sword, just for joining the Covenant, is amazing. So that's probably why they didn't think that they really needed to do more. Did you say something to me? No, it's cool to see in your world if you want to experience it and show people what's going on. I think that's a good idea. And can you use it while you're invaded by me? Give it a shot. If you can, that's another good thing to know. Good deal, I got it before he fell.
He grave loaded me. Look at that. That is so cool. I wonder if there are enemies in here. Enemies in random places. That's going to be amazing. Oh, look at that. Lots of extra enemies. Your sign too. So as I was saying, you don't really want to get rid of it because it's so cool to see these new enemies. I wonder if there's another enemy up here now. There is. There was a person guarding the crossbowman. Yeah, it's like a mod. Extra Black Knights. Extra Black Knights would be kind of cool, but I, I think they actually do that in one of the zones. To kill them. So if you are wondering, and you didn't hear what my buddy was saying, um, where you want to go to find out everything you can about Grave Loading is Illusory Walls channel. I know I've mentioned them before. He makes... Oh my gosh, I died. I didn't have the stamina left to block. Cool. So I'm going to go back and get my body. Yeah, Illusory Walls channel is the way to go. They have a lot of informative videos on the mechanics of Dark Souls games. Specifically the behind the scenes stuff. Oh, I lost my body. Gotta be kidding me. And that's why people would want to get rid of it. Right there. Having the extra enemy that you're not expecting. Can really mess you up. Hmm. Well, now that my body's lost, I might as well just pop a humanity. Okay. Buddy got invaded by a spirit of vengeance. about changing this weapon up. That has some strength scaling. That has amazing strength scaling. No scaling.
think we decided this one did less. Come on, switch to him. There we go. Gotta get rid of the exploder. And then, let's see here. Hmm. I like having that defense. Crossbow. Oh well. Oh, that's neat. Still get rewarded for your covenant. Even though the person was invading with a blue eye orb. That is so much damage. I have the ring of still protection. He might actually be able to one shot me. Body's gone. But let's kill this black knight and get the blue green. Which I did not get in the original. Mm. I'm gonna go back with my tried and true. Very good damage weapon. Dang. Get me some stamina. Get the crit. There we go. Chunk. That's excellent. Luto's starting ring is not really that great of a ring. That's why I don't worry about getting it in most of my runs. Okay, well, invade my buddy again. Failed to invade. Hmm. Wonder why. No, I think there'd be a fog there, wouldn't there? Down to Havel? No, we can go down to Havel. It could be because of close to that door. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's because he's close to the door that I believe is supposed to have a fog gate there. But I know oh, let's get my crystal lizard. Is it not right here? I was in the wrong place. Nice. That is very good. Okay, I don't see your sign anymore. There it is. We'll give it one more try. If not, then maybe we'll put our signs down and fight this boss. Invading, sweet. Wow, cool. Toxic? Ooh. Two hit toxic? Oh. How 
I'm not, not doing damage to you. It's going right through you. Sweet. I can't do any emotes or anything, otherwise I would emote. That was pretty neat. Sure, I can put my sign down here. So we're going to go ahead and do this boss fight. That uh, sucks losing 50,000 souls. I should have been more careful, but luckily New Game Plus has lots of souls to be gathered. Really cool shield. That stamina regen combined with the poise and the defense of still protection. That little ring gives you. Where's defense? It's right there. So, versus strike is 191. Gives you 50 points of defense. Another ring I didn't get, but that's because I did the, the full quest. There's a speckled stone plate ring. It does all three of these things in a lesser amount for defense of all the different magics. It's good to combine with one of those if you're really struggling with someone who's using a magic ability against you. Yeah. You're gonna go up? I can't trigger the guy. Oh, you should go up. Yeah. They are dead. So great damage. You got a ground pound as well. Excellent. And jump attack. Oh, he backstepped. My flame and tree branch. Love that thing. Sweet. Only 7,500 for him. Because the 
Summoning my buddy. Should be here any second. S plus. I'll wait for them to come through the fog at least. Okay. Like a millisecond faster than the arrows. They probably would have hit me if I hadn't been running. Oh well. Stagger? Sweet. It's fun to slaughter the Taurus demon at the beginning of the game. Come on, Siller. Oh, the Santi phone. Oh, hello there. The Santi phone. Oh, you don't have to say yes to him. Yeah, you just probably just have to talk to him real quick, and now he'll give you the uh, summon sign for gargoyles. I'm gonna put flamestone plate ring on since I can't wear armor. I don't have speckled. Oh, right. That's what I was about to do, but... Right. Oof. That probably saved my life. Awesome. Kicking that ladder down. Okay. I guess that's it for today. Had a lot of fun playing. Getting into New Game Plus. Grave loading. Which, uh, I don't think we can do grave loading here anymore, but we will be continuing grave lord. My buddy will probably continue it through the whole game. Off and on, if not the whole time. But I will be switching back to Gold Covenant to turn in that thing for my Sunlight Spear. Nine levels. Did that, right? Nine levels. It's a ways. And we didn't really get a lot from from up here. I got 36,000 as a summon from Pinwheel, but I lost those souls to the uh, Black Knight death. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've been enjoying it. Please tell us if you have any ideas for new challenges. Add those to the uh, comments down below. And... We will consider putting them in one of the cycles. We'll be continuing this indefinitely, so just let us know.